up guys morning grown man two three here and it's time for another haul i'm just trying to get through a lot of this stuff that i got right before i went on vacation and these two packages i received in the mail never had a chance to do anything with them i think i got this one right before i left on vacation and i got the other one probably a week before i left and they've just been sitting here in the room so let's go ahead and open them I actually forgot what this one was until today when I was thinking about filming this haul. I remembered what it was. This one, I actually forgot all about it and forgot that I even didn't open it. So let's see what they are. I will tell you, this one here, I didn't buy it right off, but I got in one and I was really impressed for it. Really impressed with it for being a... Uh, a clone, a Lego clone. You know, it's probably a cheap Japanese. But I got this one. I'm a big Spider-Man fan. I wish I had Amazing Fantasy 15, but I don't. So, I really like this. I like the way these things are made. Um, see on the back there, it's got another... What is that? The Amazing Spider-Man. I'm not even sure which number that is. Number 170, 129... But this is the one. This is where it introduced Spider-Man. This is where the origin of Spider-Man is. I have a reproduction of it. Um, but if you have that comic right there, that is like the Holy Grail. That comic in probably near mint, eight and a half, gem mint, nine and a half, whatever, is ridiculous. I'll never have a chance to own it. Don't really intend to own it unless I find one in somebody's basement or somebody's garage sale bin somewhere, which it's never going to happen. But I just really think these are cool display pieces. This is actually a baseball card uh, case. And what they do is they, they get these custom figs. I'm assuming they get them printed and get them from Japan or China or somewhere. And then they get these custom little backer cards printed. And they just really make for a great display piece to put on the shelf. This is actually, let me look at the, this is from Build-A-Brick. You can follow Build-A-Brick on Instagram and you can see a lot of them. You can check Build-A-Brick out on eBay. They have a lot of stuff, uh, pop culture, superheroes. Uh, this is the other one I got. I got the Michael Jordan here. So I don't know, when so if something else comes along that I'm interested in, I may get it. I actually bought my daughter a pair of these for her birthday. I bought her a Captain America and a Bucky, or a Winter Soldier. And, you know, the figs is take them or leave them because they have Lego figs, just like the Spider-Man. There's a Lego Spider-Man. So, I mean, I could swap that out with the... Um, over there, you can see I have the actual Lego fig right there. And I can tell you that is not, without even looking at it, I don't even have to open it, but I can tell you that's a knockoff. This is a kind that you would see at flea markets, at comic book shows, that they just sell by the, they must buy them in by the gross. Um, but anyway, enough about that. I just really like them. What do you guys think? They're really cool to display on the shelf. So we got those two. So this one, actually, I don't know what made me think of this, but I was just messing around and I come across this set and I realized that I didn't get it. I never, I never bought anything from Lego to get this free. This was a free promo, I will tell you that. Um, so this was a free promo, a free giveaway. If you spent, I think it was, I can't remember if it was $75 or $100 you had to spend. And I was going to make an order just to get this set. And I actually loaded my cart, but then I didn't pull the trigger. So I missed it. And I just happened to remember about it because I saw it somewhere. So I went on eBay looking around, and I actually got this fairly cheap, I think. With shipping, I got it for under $20, which I think is a pretty good deal. Because I think these would go probably go for around $18, $20 plus shipping. So we got this one. This is uh, 40335. Um, this was uh, actually, I think it was a Lego idea set. And this is the little space rocket coin op ride. You know, when I was a kid, you still see them nowadays, but not so much like when I was a kid. Seemed like every place had them. Walmart had them out front. 
And, you know, they had horses, they had motorbikes, they had cars, and you would get in them, dump a quarter in them, and all they do is go back and forth and up and down a little bit. And it is the goofiest, goofiest coin-op machine out there, but it just keeps kids occupied for that 30 seconds or or minute ride that you get. So anyway, a little nostalgia. Everybody loves this. It goes good if you if you like the arcades, if you like the amusement parks. It's kind of one of those sets you really need to have. So I figured I'd go ahead and pull the trigger on that one. So I got the Amazing Fantasy Spider-Man, which is crazy because I should have just ordered the backer card. And I actually had priced the backer card. And for the price that they wanted to sell me the backer card, I just, it, it didn't make sense to just not order the fig in the case with it. So, Anyway, that's all we got for this one. This has went way too long for just these two pieces. So, Appreciate all the support. Hope you stuck with me. Hope you're still in it at the end. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video. Check me out on Instagram at MardiGrawMan23. Check out my BrickLink store at MardiGrawBricks. And until the next one, thanks for watching. We'll see you again. <laughs>